Ahalal Tengeli is the fourth full-length album from Sicilicidium, a Romanian black metal duo as far as I understand, one that has developed from a unique station in their take on black metal where they began in a, a traditional place as most bands do, but they had always, always taken influence from post-punk, a little bit of like post-rock in the, or the earliest sense of the, of the definition of that, and infusing rock into their black metal sound in a way that fit the raw lo-fi aesthetic of it and i guess that sounds kind of cheap in a modern sense but their idea of black metal and tradition was more the uh, i guess let's call it Eastern European tradition, something like Master's Hammer. There was obviously a bit of Bathory in what, what they did, and the mixture of those influences with some of the rock influences led them to be compared to Inquisition uh, on a certain level, probably uh, later on in the 2000s as that band's uh, own oeuvre had changed a bit. So there was punk, there was doom metal, there was folk in their, their, their sound. It all uh, transpired in a lot of different ways over the course of several albums and smaller releases, but it was their third album that set more precedence for what they sound like now which is not exactly progressive but it has a little bit of second wave black metal integrity to it but there is also very much a structure that is based around 80s and 90s rock in and not in a cheap accessible way rather than continue to fumble through that description let's just get to a song and pay attention to the rhythms and the way that they approach them because it's not necessarily traditional black metal in that sense <laughs> If you understand what post-industrial music is, post-industrial rock music, neo-folk, and even uh, just if you're familiar with late 80s Sonic Youth and uh, bands like Witch Trail, who bring some of that, that post-punk and that kind of noise rock into their black metal sound, you'll, you'll be prepared for what Sicilicidium do on this latest record. I would say there are some songs that distort what black metal is in the way that Psy did early on, and, and not necessarily into progressive metal, but into something that is their own, but still black metal in spirit and the way that they convey it. So that's the best way that I could kind of get around to what this record is. If I start using words like alt-rock and things like that, that's specific to my age, that like kind of early 90s and late 80s feeling of uh, an experimental and psychedelic side of alternative rock before that became more of a commercial thing. So there's some nostalgia for different eras in this music, but it's still black metal in its presentation. So the rhythms are unique in that sense, and it makes for a record that conveys emotion through those rhythms in the way that it, it, it does it in a unique way. I think this is an easy record to pick up and listen to. It is memorable. It is actually a little bit catchy because of the way it is built, but it's still black metal in that it is uh, lamenting. It is going through the process of life and death. And this particular record is one side of the coin. It's one of two new records. One is fully experimental and touches upon many different genres, and this one is made be more of a canonical release for the band it's their next kind of uh, main entry uh, if you will and so this is the one to approach if you've never heard the band before and then if you have and you like their sound already check out the uh, companion record that it also released at the same time because it shows uh, them doing many different things from electronic music to uh, ambience and and all kinds of things so a lot of surprises on that record a lot of good surprises on this one i've been a fan uh, since the last several releases i didn't know about them before about 2018 or so but i had a great time with this record i'm not sure how long it will last on this shelf there's a lot of competing uh, you know, events happening this month, but it's still a substantial release and one you want to spend some more time with and see if you can parse what, where they're going with it, what the meaning of it is and what they're trying to convey. And I think with that extra effort put in, it's, it's a fairly exceptional record from a band with a unique personality. So check that out for yourself. See if it lines up with your taste in black metal and, uh, and, and various forms of it, uh, that released on June 10th, along with its companion album. Again, Check both of those out to get the full scope of what they've put into these two releases and uh, make your decisions from there. Yeah. 